Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Friday video where we just do whatever we really feel like doing. So today we learn about seamless texture. Um, we create this really awful looking one right here, but at least it, it is seamless and you can actually use it and it tiles. So uh, this is what we do, and if you just work on your seal a little bit more, you can achieve better result like this one I did back in the days. And uh, it's not even that good, so <laughs> you, if you're good at art, you can create pretty much anything that looks good. Now. Um, with this video, you'll also learn how to make it seamless so it can actually be applied on a big scale. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. I am going to open up a new file. This one is going to be something like 512. Oops, 512 by 512. That sounds just about right. I'm not going to name it just yet. I'll name it at the very end. And um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do something really simple. Try to create some kind of uh, rocks, gravel, thingy. I don't know. I'm not really good with art, so I just go with something really simple that I can probably do. So here's just a, a typical background. Now, this texture right here, it's a texture we might call seamless. It is seamless, because if you just take this side over here, and you try to repeat it over here, it's gonna work, because it's all the same color. Of course, this is seamless, so you could be placing this texture one um, next to each other, and it just it, it turns out to have a decent result. But this is just a solid color, so that's not really interesting either. Well, let's go ahead and just define more that little color we're talking about here. I'm going to take a um, a brush and also the black color. And we're going to be just incrementing that, say, 5. I'm going to do something really quickly because this is not about art. This is really about uh, making this seamless. So maybe like size 13. And I'll just go ahead and draw some definition here. So... Maybe something of the sort. I'll just keep everything really blocky. And that would be one rock ish. You know, something of the sort. Then you just place your stuff in there. And here we go. So, something of the sort. Now, I'm not going to do the shading and the whole definition stuff because, uh, like I said, I really want this to be about making the seamless texture, not defining it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be saving this and just assume that this is our texture we want to use. Um, I am going to get save as, as, as always, I always keep the PSD somewhere, so I'll just keep it in my folder for now. What is the name of my game? Here it is. I'll go inside of assets, create a new folder in artwork, this is PSD, and let's call this um, floor. Right, save as again, save this as a PNG this time, and I'll also create a folder for that called seamless. Alright, so floor.png is now a texture we should have inside of our game, here it is. And now here's what's going to happen, uh, we have a Terran down there, and usually Terran, they always use seamless texture, else it's really weird, um, the behavior of it. So let me show you the weird behavior you have when you don't have seamless texture with a Terran. Alright, so since I'm going to be using this with a Terran, I need to have the texture wrap mode on repeat. So let me just go up here, put that as a texture. Wrap mode is going to be on repeat, hit apply. And we can now use it on a uh, Terran. But if you don't want to use it on Terran, if you want to do your own UV, then you can go ahead and just use it uh, the way it was. So here is mine, I'll be using it as a PNG file, not the PSD one because it doesn't work. Add, and that's the awesome result we get. So obviously there is something wrong here, and uh, we can't really deal with that. Now the tiling of that texture is a little bit weird, so let me just add some more uh, repetition. I'll go under Edit Texture, Edit, and I'll add a size of, we'll just do a size of uh, 1. So it's 1 meter by 1 meter right now. Obviously. If you zoom in and you try to play on that, you're gonna find you're gonna find that your floor is pretty messed up and it doesn't look good. And this is where we come in with the actual seamless texture. So let's go back inside of Photoshop. Um, our work is going to be done in Photoshop, all of it. So you see this layer over here. This is our background layer. Doesn't really matter, but this is our kind of definition layer. But in the end, uh, we could be using both layers at the same time. But I'll only do it on this one on the uh, layer number two right now because. The other one is just a solid color, I don't really need to work on it. Now, here is what we do. We go under Filter, while having this selected, we go under Filter, Other, 
and an offset. We give this an offset. Now depending on the size of your picture, you remember your size of picture, you put it at the very beginning of the video, in my case it was uh, 512, you divide that by 2 and you type it in right here. So 256 for me and also 256 in vertical. This is what we end up with. Now something really cool with Photoshop is um, if you just want to repeat the same thing you just did, you can hit Control F. So if I want to go back to normal, I just select my layer, hit Control F, and here it is. Because now it, it is adding another 256 offset and it just goes back to normal. So now I get to switch in between these two um, kind of mode. And all I really, I really got to do uh, to make this seamless is to make sure that this right here, this one, looks good. As good as this one. So this is where we start defining things a little bit more. So we go maybe here, add this line. And we just start rounding the corner a little bit. Now, of course, the better artist you are, um, the less you're going to see the seam. And that's definitely what you're trying to do here. Now, I'm not really good with this. I'm really awful, actually. And here's something I'll do. is actually go from there, then go up. But this is also going to mess up my other. So I, I got to make sure I just toggle these on and off all the time so I can see what I'm messing up and what I'm fixing. And here we go. We just keep going like that. We're almost done with the first <laughs> draft, I guess. And now we fix, uh, we fix a lot of things, but we also messed up the other textures. So let's just go back and make sure we just cover these little zones. Uh, and they're going to look awful at some places, some, some here. Of course, using your awesome artistic skill, you are going to find out how to make this look good on both of the pictures. There we go, we're just adding a little black zone here. Alright, so let's just assume that this is good, this is looking great. You don't really need to know which one you're saving because they both work. So they work on this axis and also on this one. So you'll just go ahead and save that as a PNG file again. Override the one we've had and we are going to have a look at this inside of the game. It's going to be quite different. It actually is going to look like that. Now obviously, um, <laughs> it's not that good looking either because of the black thing. The black thing, the black thing I've just had it here, really makes it stand out but if you just look at the rest of the lines they're all connected and they're all pretty much seamless now let me just pull a texture I did back in the days uh, where I applied this very technique with a little bit more time and of course a little bit more definition and here it is so uh, I pretty much followed the tutorial back in the days to make a uh, hand-drawn texture and this is what came out of it so let me just add a new texture to my Terran so you can have a look at it it is pretty much a slava, and I follow the exact same technique I've just showed you guys. And as you can tell, uh, if you just put a lot of time and a lot of effort in your art, this is the kind of result you could get. So, so some actual okay looking lava. Now, of course, if you just focus and you cross your eye a little bit, you're going to be able to see like the square shape. But when you're in actual third person and you're on this level, it's actually looking great. It's not that bad. Now, of course, the better you get at drawing, the better these are going to look, and the less uh, squarey you're going to be able to tell. So they're not going to be looking like this square over here. But, uh, of course, this goes with skill, and you can learn that with practice. But at least now you know the technique on how to do it, so it is really simple. You go up here, offset, and you just offset until it... Whoop, quit! And you just offset until it looks good on boat. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave me a like. Really appreciate that. If you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, please check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me. And there's also a reward for that. So guys, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.